Jack, wait. Let's think this through. That's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I helped them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we can do this without the countermeasure. But you're right. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. Um... Okay. Explanation? Anybody? Uh, explanation is we're playing Quantum Break. In workshop. And I'm attached to it. Here. Hello, everybody. Feel free to fill me in. Anytime now. We just okay. did. Core controls. Where are they? Probably on these computers. These schematics Ooh, are all this? in Will's writing. He did all of this. Built everything. Monarch was made aware of its existence shortly after it was completed. In 1999. 1999. Oh. They believe it was destroyed wow. shortly after. I imagine Will wanted to keep it that way. Find anything back there? No. Ooh. Nothing I can make sense of. The schematics for What's the countermeasure spanned 11 years, 1999 to 2010. In itself, that wasn't strange. But the guy built a working time machine in two. Uh, wild. From William Joyce, reply, where are you? To Beth Wilder. Oh, it's a lot of reading. To Beth, to Beth. Oh, actually, not as much reading as I thought. Okay, so, here we go. To Beth Wilder from William Joyce. Date, July 5th, 2010. Are these all July 5th? Okay, so they go... I'm going to go from the bottom up this time. Anybody check uh, out the map? It looks like he no. Is. Uh, we'll get to that. Uh, subject, where are you? It's gone. The countermeasure is gone. What happened? Call me immediately. To Beth again. From the same man. It's always going to be the same people. Same day, but a little later. Reply, where are you? Where are you? Have you taken it? It's not safe in the open. You don't understand the power of this device. I dialed the number you gave me in case of emergencies. You aren't answering. What is going on? To her again. Same day. A little later. I'm freaking out. Still trying to call you. Again. Day, next day. Fuck. Call me. Email me. Something. Again. I can't sleep. Please call me. And that's July 11th, then August 9th. Indeed. Now, hey there, Droney. Uh, the note you gave me is now disconnected. Where are you? November 4th, 2010. Hello? July 6, 2011. I will come look at it later. I am reading. It has been a year. I still haven't heard anything. You know where to find me. With time magic. Hey, when, when is this? July 3rd, 2012. Two years. I've given up hope that you're still listening. I'm not sure why I'm writing this. Uh, maybe to get some closure. You changed the course of my life when you entered it. I spent over a decade devoted to your cause. I sacrificed every relationship I had, pushed away everyone I love, all in the name of a lie. There is no threat coming. There never was. I have to force myself to believe this. It's the only way to move on. It's the only way to pick up the pieces and start over. This is goodbye. And then October 4th, 2016. I've seen it. I've seen the cause of the fracture exists. It's here. Are you still out there? And the big one. Beth. The time has arrived. It's here. Everything you warned me about is about to come to fruition. Please give me a sign that you're still out there. Put my mind at ease. Tell me you have the countermeasure. I'm losing my mind over here. I spent years trying to convince myself that you were wrong all this time, and I built the countermeasure for nothing. I tried to move on, pick up the pieces, but now I have seen the proof. Paul Serene brought me in to advise on an experiment at the university. They've built it. 
they built another time machine, almost an exact replica of my own design, but with key flaws in the calculations. Just like you said, if they activate this machine, then the fracture will occur. How is this possible? How have they followed my design so closely? Somebody's been watching me all this time, haven't they? Somebody is orchestrating this. All of it. I'm being followed. At first, I thought it was paranoia, but it's true. A man has been watching my every move. I secretly took his photo, ran a search. His name is Liam Burke. He works for a security division of Monarch Solutions. I first noticed it weeks ago, but this could have been going on for years. What does he want? What does he know? How is he connected to this? I need answers. I don't know who I can trust anymore. I don't know who else is involved. What they want. Why? I need to hear from you. I need to know that I'm not alone in all of this. If what you once told me is true, then the onset of the fracture may be inevitable, but I can't simply stand by and allow it to happen. Not until I know the countermeasure is safe. So this guy basically hold, held a torch for years uh, for this girl. I wonder if this is the point where we send her back to the point in time to communicate with him for it to all begin. And that's why she vanishes. More calculations over here. Okay, okay. Let's read these ones. Will received a massive this. research grant in 1997. He'd successfully built the time machine by 1999. But the results scared him. That lines up. He never told a soul. Lines up. Riverside Physics. Physicist on the rise. July, June 4th, 1997. Dr. Joyce and Dr. Meyer became household names earlier this year when their paper on the proposed existence of a Cronin field became one of the most hotly debated theories in the quantum physics community since the Higgs boson. Well, yeah, we, it's a newspaper, so we have to read it like a newsman. William Joyce, born and raised in Riverport, wasn't satisfied with simply being a part of the discussion and decided to actively search for proof. His proposed research project led him to obtaining the highly prestigious Howard Steinberg Fund with an estimated value of $150,000. Dr. William Joyce is officially the youngest recipient of the Howard Steinberg Research Grant to date. While the specifics of his research proposal remains confidential, it is likely that Joyce aims to demonstrate clear proof of the so-called Maya Joyce field, as well as potential applications for the manipulation of this field. A research timeline has been established with milestones that point to early 1999 as the period when this research will be ready for public unveiling. We will continue to follow William Joyce's story as part of our Riverport Rising series. Thank you. I like doing them. Okay. Otherwise, I wouldn't do them. Gotta figure out where to start. <laughs> where are the core That's controls? just a Stargate! No, really, that's... That's just a Stargate. It's just... It's just a Stargate. Those are chevrons. That's... <laughs> Alright. Hey. What do you have to say, lady? What is this? Amy lady. Think you believe it's a Stargate. Uh, in the past two hours, I've learned that Monarch is a secret paramilitary. It's a time machine. Okay. That was weird. I'll compartmentalize that with everything else that shouldn't make sense. We should help Jared work. That was very weird yeah, that she yeah. broke off abruptly okay. there. Oh, that looks like an important thing. Let's not pull it yet. Oh, don't want to fall in there yet. What do you do? Says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. I see. What the hell does it look like? A round thing in the middle. Think. That makes sense. Thick round thing in the middle, like a, like a, like a, like the Oreo stuffing in a double stuffed Oreo. Zillions fly to time club. I should say it's all one thing. Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, I can go doubly fast. Isn't it? A civilian's guide to time travel. Cliche working title by William Joyce. Rough ideas, February 28th, 1999. Opening statements. Open with a zinger. Showing your cat joke. Note. Find appropriate accompanying cat photo. Note. No cat photo. No science explained here. Marketing bullshit. Time machine equals works. Implications equals limitless. Give me your money spiel. Build up existence of time machine. Content here dependent on findings from first human tests later tonight. Findings, facts, dumbed down for the mouth breathers who will inevitably want to invest. Purpose of guide to explain to mouth breathers how the machine works and why. Note, 
proofread and delete all mouth breather references. The Time Machine Overview. How research started, including gra gra gratitudes, grati grat gratuities? gratuities for research grant, sucking ass community investors. Note, also thank Jack for his patience. Now that it's over, I promise to be there for him. Note, too personal. Basic overview of Time Machine. Parts. Chronon particles. Note, nobody will give a shit about this or understand it. Skip it. How the travel works. Simple, the, how the time travel works. Simplest terms. Subject activates time machine. Step one, core. Step two, the corridor. Subject sets the desired time travel date. Subject enters the corridor. Compare corridor to donut shape. In, to explain. Note, add joke. You don't want to eat this donut or your body will suffer terminal cronin saturation leading to your slow but inevitable death. Note, cut joke. Disturbing. Subject walks around the corridor. Walking clockwise around the corridor equals travel to the future. Walking counterclockwise around the corridor equals travel to the past. Clock-like design. Subject drives at new time in future or past. Space-time continuum. Travel across space. Time travel is not a portal. Spatial dis destination will not always be the same as entry point. Time travel is tied to rotating black hole core. Note. Explain the core first. Note. Fuck it. Just compare the core to a car engine. Note. Look up info on car engines. Subject will arrive in future past at the location where the time machine and core were located in that time. Cannot travel to a time when time machine and core are not active. Cannot travel to a time before core was first activated. Examples of how the time travel works. In 1999, the time machine core is first activated. The time machine is located on an island. In 2000, the same time machine with the same core is moved to a circus tent. Teddy enters time machine in 1999 and travels to 2000. He exits the time machine and it is in a circus tent. Note, use better examples. No circus tent. Teddy cannot travel to a time before 1999 because the core was not active. Will bang my goddamn head against the wall every time somebody uses example of not being able to go back and kill Hitler to try and sound clever funny. Note, a dinosaur joke, though. Note, explain you can't go back and see dinosaurs. Fucking sucks. Closed loops. In theory, all actions resulting from time travel equal already accounted for. Should not be able to change the past. Any attempt to change things was always part of the chain of events in the first place. Already happened. Explain Novikov self-consistency principle until heads go pop. Metaphor to explain closed loops. Time is an egg. You can move the egg, but no matter where you move it, the same chicken will hatch. Note, terrible example. Plus, you could just eat the fucking egg. An egg is sitting on the table. You leave the room, come back, and the egg is broken on the floor. You aren't sure how this happened, but it saddens you. The egg was important to you because insert reason that makes sense here later. You travel to the past to prevent the egg from breaking. When you arrive in the past, you rush over to the table, accidentally bump it, the egg falls, and breaks. You caused the very thing you tried to prevent. Closed loops. Why the hell do all my examples end up being about eggs? Note, replace egg with something else. Unfortunately, he never got to that last part. Everything was always still an egg, all the way up until this point, when he talks about it in this game to you. Uh, it's still an egg. All It's all eggs. Guy liked eggs. I get what he's going for. You know. I do. Can I, can I run? Can I dodge? Can I do anything? Ooh, what's over here? <gasps> Time thingy! Give. Yay! Alright, what do we have over here? What are you? Parents killed in Riverport car crash article. December 22nd, 1999. Parents killed in Bradbury car crash. Holiday cheer is in short supply in the Riverport community. Oh, it's a newspaper. I need to adopt a newspaper voice. <laughs> Holiday cheer is in short supply in the airport community of Bradbury after a tragic car accident claimed the lives of a married couple, Anthony and Catherine Joyce. The accident took place within walking distance of the family's front door on Princeton Street in the early afternoon. Catherine Princeton, nope, oh, Catherine Joyce, who was driving, lost control of the car after a collision with another vehicle and crashed into a utility pole. The other car left the scene of the accident. The Joyces were both well known in the Bradbury area as prominent members of the community. Last year, they were recognized by the mayor for their charity efforts, particularly the report multiple, scler mul yeah, multiple sclerosis walk they had organized every year since 1993. The couple left behind two children, the promising young physicist Dr. William Joyce and Jack Joyce, still underage. A candlelight vigil will be held for Anthony and Catherine on Sunday to unite the grieving family, friends, and the community during this tragic time. And now that we have read that and acquired all narrative objects, that is a part. So we're going to be moving on to actually doing something with the time machine. 
in the next bit. So thank you so much for watching. Joni, thank you for joining me uh, and for hopefully staying for the next bit. If you, any of you have enjoyed this, please feel free to click on anything else on my channels. I want you to be safe and stay awesome. And this is Dash, signing out. Bye.